Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 4 of Delicious Party. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I honestly don't remember from the preview what the heck is happening in today's episode. So this episode could be focusing on any one of the girls today. Heck, I mean, it could focus on Mary. Maybe. I think it's a Ron focus episode. Yes. No? No, I think it's a Yui focus episode. Seriously? Damn. <laughs> Yeah, well, summer homework. Ah, of course. Math? No. That's what's happening today. The Kome Kome Pomo Pomo fight. <sighs> yeah, this is why I always hated word math problems. Yeah, that usually helps. Mm -hmm. They're going to get distracted by this, though, because since they're putting themselves in this situation, like, come on now. <laughs> no. Exactly. This has to be a math problem. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, but let's say you didn't leave it in the exact same place, Yuri. Mm Pama Pam was out. Oh my god, this is how the fight starts! So that means after this week, we're probably never going to see him again. Because something tells me she'll take over. Which I am excited about because we kind of need to really have someone else. I mean, because, you know, your girl ain't like him. I'm sorry. He was He's like my least favorite villain of this show. Or for the series in a nutshell. <laughs> Pizza party time. Getting worse. Wait, ma <laughs> Yeah, but now, like, pum pum, come and come. I mean, you know, 
Kohime can't transform. You would. No, A pizza maker? Well, yeah, that makes sense because, I mean, we are focusing on pizza this episode. I am here for the solo missions! Let's go! Like, oh my god, let's go! Yes, baby! Not pummel, pummel. Exactly. I just can't pummel.
I mean, yeah, honestly, I'm still, like, even though technically we got the fight with these two, I, I'm not, I need more. I need more. You know, very similar to, like, um, oh, my God, a little bit of healing good with Nadoka and what's her, and what's his face, and then, um, Ichika and, um, Pokadigo, like, oh. That could have been so much. That could have been everything. Mm. Well, damn, arrogant much? I mean, damn. Unfortunately, yeah, that is his downfall because he ain't been. Oh, well, he looks kind of pretty with his hair down. Damn, I really thought today would have been his last damn episode, but no. We're extending it for a week. That's okay. I mean, you know, officially. Oh. Oh, God. Now we're going to, we're, we're arguing about whose fault it was. Exactly. It pours. <laughs> Pizza, oh my god, that was so freaking cute. (laughs) 
Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, so... Oh, damn, we're not over. I thought we were. I feel like that's very similar to being like, you need to put your money where your mouth is. Oh. Well, of course, that's something that he's now bringing out, but okay. For an episode that focused on, one, the mascots, but still at the same time, Imane, because of the fact that she's the one, you know, ending the episode. One, it's sweet because, like I said, I think when we get episodes on the mascots and it's not focusing on the cures, I think it's a really interesting episode because the dynamic is completely different. You're getting a new, a different POV on something. So seeing both Kome Kome and Pamu Pamu being the main focus on this with the help of Amane was good. I mean, you know, Deadass, like that was adorable and I loved it. Seeing their fight once again, as I said last week when I saw the preview for it, gave me feels to any other Magical Girl S series where the main Magical Girl gets into a fight with the mascot counterpart and then by the end of it, they do make up. That is adorable. I really, it just, it strengthens, in my opinion, their bond and friendship so that no matter what happens to them, yes, that they're going to be there for each other to the end of time because yes you're always going to disagree with someone whether it's a friend family member who freaking ever but you know you do that because that's love and you just want to talk them through certain certain situations you know but something tells me that next week we officially we are seeing the end of our little f boy and if it is, I am so freaking happy because I, I felt like they ran this into the ground with this character. Which we did see something. I don't know what it was. I mean, it would, yeah, it makes sense to bring in a new phantom because of the fact is by next week we will be technically with this episode and next week's episode we're kind of already at the halfway point for this show um in a way we've already passed the halfway point of this show and such i felt like we're going the last couple of weeks still kind of felt like a, a little bit more filler ass episode with main story plot in it which i'm not mad at that because some animes and shows alike are like that because they're like oh hey we need something to get you know, still something with plot, but we need a little bit of filler. And I'm not mad about that. I do love the fact that we're still getting more focus on everybody. And then with Amane being the newest girl, that yes, yeah, she gets a lot more focus than everyone else. But yeah, I really just love the fact that we got to see the mascots. It feels like forever since I've seen an, an episode, I cannot speak, that is focused on the mascots. No, like nothing from really Tropical Rouge can get a focus. Like, could it even, you know was could it own and stuff that's different from like um peckerine in the one episode of kitty kitty pretty girl mode or even which had to deal with uh cl and um yukari and them you know fighting as the fairy and the cat and such or all the way in Yes, Pretty Cure 5 having the episodes on those two and such. But yeah, I mean, it's still, it was just still a good episode. Freaking loved it. Cannot wait until next week. But yeah, very, very good. Very heartwarming and sweet, even with the fight. Like, yes, it's cute because, of course, seeing cutesy, adorable things fight, it's just so cute. And I'm like, oh, like, yes, I don't mean it. But then it also reminds you of when you bicker with your friends and you're like, and then you, you sit down, you think about it, you're like, damn, I did not mean to do that. You apologize. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 24 of Delicious Party Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 25. Bye, guys.